Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This comes from a conversation I had with Daniel Kahanowitz of uh, Bridgecom Systems, uh, which is in Missouri. I met him at uh, the Dayton Hamvention. Uh, he's the son of the owner, and uh, he is uh, one of the major players in that. That organization is growing quickly. Uh, I have told you many times that if you're going to buy an Anytone radio, make sure you buy it from these guys because they will provide support, they'll provide training, they'll be a voice at the other end of the phone. Uh, they have something they call a, a, a DMR College or something. I think it's Bridgecom University. And uh, all sorts of videos to watch to learn how to use your radios and so on. Bridgecom Systems also makes uh, repeaters and they've got a new uh, item which uh, Daniel gave to me to uh, introduce. This is called the Skybridge Plus. Now this is what most people call a hotspot. And you set this up and connect it to the internet and then you can use your radio on very low power and uh, talk to it as though you're talking to a repeater. So this is the inside right here says this is not a toy. Well, yeah, it is a toy, but um, this is what we've got. Let's open up the box and see what all we've got in here. Okay, here is the sky bridge. I'll take the cover off. It is, um, okay, that tells me that it's a Raspberry Pi that's underneath it, and they put a board on top of that and uh, there's all different ways to connect to it and so on. And uh, there's a, an antenna that goes into it. We'll just put that antenna onto it. Okay, like this. And there it's complete. Now we need something to power it with and it's powered with uh, five volts. A lot more stuff in ham radio these days is being powered with 5 volts rather than 10. So here is a uh, little plug-in thing that you can get uh, 5 volts out of. Okay, you could use that to charge your phone, I guess. And uh, we'll just open this up here. Made in China, as is everything these days. Okay, and you can plug this into here. And it looks like this end is a Class C. Okay, so you plug this into the Class C port right there. Okay, and that will turn this thing on. Um, there is also provided for you... A, for your car, a, another power supply. This one plugs into your cigarette lighter or on the Blue Eddy we just examined a couple videos ago, it will um, plug into your, it could plug into the 12 volts on that and power the 5 volt output on the Class C. There's also an extra standard uh, A-type USB on here which you could use for your phone or something like that. Okay, so that can go into that same Class C or Type C. I say Class C, it should be Type C, into here. Now, also in here is a uh, cable that you can use to connect this via this port directly to the internet if you want, or you can use it wirelessly uh, and uh, connect to the uh, internet if you've got wireless in your house. Also in here is a little box. Let's find out what's in here. It's kind of heavy.
Well, it's got connectors on it. It says Model Z5. I guess I will find that out when I check out the instructions online for this. Let's plug this in and see what it has to say. Okay, we plugged this into the outlet. Let's see what we get. You know what I think this is? I think this is a battery pack. I think it is. But let's plug this in to here and see what happens. And the answer is stuff comes up, it's initializing, and after it initializes, it will tell you frequencies for transmit and receive and stuff like that. So we'll just wait for it to initialize. Initializing, boy. This is the first time it's ever been turned on, so it may be initializing the... Uh, well, it's initializing. Let me tell you how it works. Okay, the way this thing works, it's called a uh, hotspot. And uh, we've seen many of them. I reviewed this hotspot before, which is a uh, one made down in San Diego. And it's the same type thing. It's built on a Raspberry Pi with a board on the top and a little bit of a, a screen on there. And... Um, what you do is you connect this to the internet, either wirelessly or uh, directly with one of these. And it's nice of them to provide the cable. And then it will um, receive your signal, send it out over the internet, and then the signal comes back and you can use your DMR radio. And I just happen to have one right here. You can use your DMR radio which normally you would use to talk to a repeater and from there to the entire DMR system. Well here, you can skip the repeater part and put this on here. That should not take so long to initialize. I'm gonna try this and see if it is a power pack. So this is what we have that came from uh, Bridgecom. I will wait for it to finish initializing and then I will set it up and then um, we'll uh, use it on the air and we'll show how it works. It's a hotspot that works with your DMR radio and connects you to the DMR network, which is worldwide. So you can talk to other hams in other places um, with this uh, particular item. Now this is made and branded for Bridgecom systems Whereas this is an Anytone radio that's made in China and is a, a very nice uh, little radio. I've got it set up for uh, Quartzfest here. So there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you certainly can do so by going to decastlercom slash support and looking for various ways uh, that are spelled out there. It's very easy to do. Also, if you would like to enter our monthly giveaway, go to decastlercom slash giveaway, and it will tell you how to do that. Basically, you send me a postcard with your name, call sign, and your phone number, and we'll draw one of those the first uh, Thursday of every month at the live stream. We have a live stream every week on Thursday at uh, 6.45 p.m. Mountain Time. And uh, if you are a subscriber, you should get a notice about that every time I put one up. So until we next meet, 73.